So this actually had to be done by Dr. Kogla, but he could not be here. So I would be talking to you about femtosecond laser assisted uh, deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. I do not have much experience. I've just done five cases. The technique of uh, DALC uh, can be done manually or can be done by microkeratome. People have even done excimer laser uh, assisted DALC. And uh, I think the, uh, the in times to come, the femtosecond laser assisted DALC will become very popular because of its uh, uh, precision. Uh, basically, the technique of femtosecond DALC, uh, it can be done as a two-step procedure, the creation of the recipient bed and the donor graft using the femtosecond laser, and the graft is sutured to the host in the operating room. And the most common configurations which are uh, there, which people do is the mushroom-shaped conf configuration or the zigzag configuration. Uh, in the mushroom uh, configuration, I'm sure Amit uh, must have clarified in the penetrating keratoplasty talk, you do have a anterior side cut, then you have a lamellar ring cut, which is uh, followed by a posterior side cut and uh, finally the bed. And it is important to know at what levels each of these are because uh, you have to reach, uh, you have to do a deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. Uh, in the variant of the Mali's uh, technique, uh, which is uh, done by femtosecond laser, pre-desmetic corneal dissection is done with the laser. The, this is followed by air injection inside the anterior chamber and manual dissection till the desmets membrane. So basically the donor and the recipient are cut in a mushroom shaped uh, configuration with a larger uh, anterior diameter. The anterior uh, diameter here is 9.1 millimeter in the donor and a smaller posterior diameter where, uh, where it is 7.3 and the disparity between the donor and the recipient is uh, again 0.1 millimeter uh, diameter only. So if your donor is 9.1 this, this becomes 9 and uh, if, if in the donor your posterior cut is 7.3 this becomes 7.2 uh, and then subsequently the Mali's technique of lamellar dissection is done after the removal of the uh, recipient cut to reach the desmets membrane. Now, uh, this is again to show the fact that the overlap of the vertical and the lamellar uh, cuts, that means this vertical cut and this lamellar cut is 0.1 millimeters horizontally and the depth here is, this depth is uh, 30 microns vertically. The angulation is 90 degrees and thickness of the anterior uh, step is set to 300 microns. Uh, that means this depth is... Uh, 300 microns and the posterior cut is made in such a manner that it is uh, 100 microns away from the uh, residual cornea for uh, min for the minimum uh, corneal pachymetry that has been done. So uh, it is important uh, to feed the parameters correctly inside the machine and to know what parameters you have to feed because uh, the femtosecond procedure is nearly exact. And even then, uh, 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 even when you do this, you can still have surprises as uh, Praveen beautifully uh, demonstrated. Uh, the variant of femtosecond assisted uh, big bubble dial can be also done and this is called as the intra bubble. And basically what is done is that it allows a pre-desmet plane lamellar dissection to predefine corneal depth. And you create a channel in the posterior stroma which is uh, 50 microns above the central, uh, above the corneal thinnest point into which a smooth cannula can then be injected. So basically what is done is that this is the uh, channel first which is created intrastromal channel which is uh, created uh, which is uh, 50 uh, microns is created 30 degrees angle 25 degree arc length with 6 millimeters uh, 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 6 uh, is, is created so that you can put in your cannula here. This is followed by the uh, lamellar cut 7.5 millimeters uh, in diameter uh, which is created 100 microns above the above the thinnest uh, corneal site uh, and uh, then uh, this is followed by the uh, uh, the uh, anterior diameter of the cornea which is 8 millimeters and the posterior diameter of the cornea which is 7 millimeters. So uh, if you see in the pictures basically this is the intrastromal channel 50 microns which is above the thinnest point which has been created and then the femtosecond laser is creating a full lamella cut 100 microns above the thinnest point and then through the channel which had previously been created you inject a 27 gauge uh, cannula uh, with the air and a big bubble is uh, then uh, achieved uh, with the help of this um, uh, air inside the uh, 27 gauge cannula. Uh, this is the movie by Dr. Rajesh Fogla. He was uh, emailed it to me last night. The uh, donor is uh, fashioned first followed by the recipient.
and uh, in this the lamellar cut is um, made with a femtosecond laser some amount of bridges are present which are removed and uh, although you can make this channel also uh, with a femtosecond laser here uh, it is being made uh, mechanically and a dissector is then uh, injected uh, intrastromally uh, followed by the uh, big bubble uh, which is achieved very much similar to as you would do that uh, in a case of uh, big bubble uh, procedure which is done mechanically or manually and after uh, achieving the big bubble uh, the surgery is done similarly as in conventional big bubble uh, technique now uh, apart from this uh, you can obtain the mushroom shaped configuration in, by another technique that is the intrastromal lamella cut is given uh, leaving uh, about uh, 100 microns of the residual stromal bed and this is followed by plus 4 diopters of hyperopic ablation so that uh, you the peripheral thickness of the cornea is uh, decreased uh, by doing this hyperopic ablation and this is then followed by uh, the uh, pt cave as uh, praveen showed 40 microns to cause the smoothing of the bed uh, which uh, and, and and this also becomes a mushroom shaped uh, configuration although it is not as well defined as the technique which was previously uh, described then uh, you can also have a zigzag uh, configuration where you have the angled uh, anterior side cut the lamellar ring cut and the angled uh, posterior side cut and uh, the uh, basically the angled to create the uh, first to create the angled uh, posterior side cut 9.5 mm in diameter which begins 70 microns away from the uh, 70 microns away from the uh, anterior to the thinnest point then you have this lamellar cut 300 microns deep and then you have a an angled anterior uh, side cut 9 mm in diameter again and although we do not do it and we do not advocate it also but some people even give reference radial alignment incisions with a femtosecond laser uh, this is uh, again to show the same and after the zigzag has been done through the zigzag you can actually inject uh, the air bubble through the uh, cannula and uh, then replace have a matching femtosecond zigzag pre cut donor tissue which is transplanted onto the recipient bed uh, the mushroom the advantage is that the mushroom configuration is a larger anterior surface and if you have to convert it to a, a penetrating keratoplasty then it is always better because uh, you would have a, a smaller uh, posterior cut that is there and so a smaller graft would have to be taken and uh, there wouldn't be any ambiguity of the slanted insertion of the zigzag configuration Now, if you see the various uh, uh, studies which have compared femtosecond laser with manual uh, dalk the the uh, the corneal incisions appear to be quite precise with customized graft edges and uh, lamellar planes and you do have a better fit and also because the surface area of contact is increased the wounds heal much faster there is rapid uh, visual rehabilitation you can do a early suture removal and it does allow when you are doing a big bubble dalk precise insertion of the air bubble uh, by following the plane between the lamellar and the posterior laser side cut facilitating the big bubble uh, formation and when manual technique was compared to the femtosecond laser big bubble technique uh, it, the the success rate of achieving the big bubble was 73% versus 60 to 65% uh, again uh, this is another study which compared femtosecond laser mushroom configuration and manual to find straight edge configuration in cases of dalk and the visual acuity results at 3 months were found to be better with the femtosecond laser but at 6 months and one uh, at 6 months and one year the vi the visual results were similar and uh, in this study the endothelial cell loss was not mentioned and i think that is a very important uh, parameter which we need to study because we are hitting the femtosecond right uh, just above the 100 microns whether uh, there is any effect on the endothelial cells or not then uh, again uh, uh, this is uh, another uh, another study to show that we did use excimer and laser to smoothen the bed but uh, we do not know the uh, potential harm uh, that could be done to the endothelium and the interface haze uh, then uh, micro uh, keratome it has been shown uh, that the um, uh, the micro keratome is less effective in performing the lamellar dissections especially in steep corneas with advanced keratocam corners where femtosecond laser may have a role to play and again in this study it showed that uh, the best corrected visual acuity at 3 months was uh, significantly better but at 6 months and 1 year there seemed to be no uh, difference uh, and uh, this is another study of 11 eyes refractive outcomes of keratoconus after femtosecond big bubble dalk 
which did decrease the cylinder, uh, the, the astigmatism was hardly uh, uh, about uh, less than three diopters and the topographic astigmatism was also less. Uh, you can do an early suture removal which could be as early as three to four months and, and the, uh, the, the sutures could be removed by, all sutures could be removed as early as uh, nine to ten months. Uh, th there are a few concerns. One is that the stromal rejection is, uh, in, the, in the limited uh, evidence that we have, the stromal rejection is more with a femtosecond laser in cases of DALC as opposed to the um, uh, big bubble manual DALC, 4% versus 12%. And this is probably because of the higher stromal inflammation attributed to femtosecond laser because of the fact that there is persistent of small slices of endothelial layer, especially in the periphery. And because of the fact that you have a wider anterior lamella, especially in mushroom-shaped configuration, so it is closer to the Langerhans cells, and that mediates uh, rejection. And of course, uh, the chances of intraoperative perforation are less, but le less as compared to what they would be with a manual DALC surgery. But then that also depends on where at the level of uh, experience you are. Now, uh, again, this is a study to show that femtosecond uh, laser-assisted DAL can be also done in cases of post-classic uh, keratectasias. And uh, also uh, useful uh, uh, in cases where radial keratotomy uh, has been done. Uh, in fact, it is found to be more precise as co compared to the uh, manual technique. Uh, these are the studies which are available in literature and notice that, again, there are uh, not very many cases. The largest number of series that we have is of 35 cases. Most people have used the mushroom type and uh, the astigmatism in most of the studies was less than four and a half diopters, but there were problems in the form of rejections and dismissed memory and perforation. So uh, having said that, there are some limitations uh, which uh, need to be addressed. And of course, the fact that it is uh, of higher cost and additional time that is required to perform the surgery uh, when you are doing it with a femtosecond laser. Uh, so to conclude, the femtosecond laser can produce cuts and it has allowed the corneal transplantation to become very precise. Uh, but uh, uh, theoretically, infinite number of shapes uh, are possible and we need to still explore and have long-term results, uh, especially with respect to stromal rejection in the endothelial cell counts about which we do not have any study as of now. Thank you for your attention.